Oh! Thanks. Well, guys, it's always something new here. Always something new. There's Christian. You may not notice anything different about the front yard pond. Ow. Except for Sally, the snapping turtle decided to take a visit and munch on some of my goldfish. Before we talk about Sally, we gotta go do something. Feeling good. Okay, all right, so now that we're back. So a long time ago, I had turtles like come into the ponds. I had one in the backyard pond. And I think we've had some come into the front yard pond before, but never, never have we had Sally right here come in. And I think it's because she found my goldfish. This is an authentic, great American snapping turtle. Normally you grab these guys from the tail. I'm just gonna grab them from under a shell. Massive, bro, that is Hello there. Mass. Oh, it's claws are digging <laughs> into my hand. Oh, oh. Ah. Okay. Sorry for the wind, by the way. Pretty bad. It's pretty windy. But no, this thing is, I definitely don't want him eating my goldfish. Oh, oh see. <laughs> He's not very happy that I found him in my pond. But you know, is I don't have any small fish. Well, I mean, I do, I have bluegill and stuff in my backyard pond. It's like a community pond, so he can go back there and eat the minnows and stuff. He won't mess with the ducks or anything. I doubt that. Ah, dude, his claws. No, 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 no. God, <laughs> <need> me down. <laughs> God dang it. Oh, don't go by the turtle. Don't go by the turtle. Oh my God. Take a look at that guy's face. It's crazy. That's from his claws. Digging into my skin. You can't, you can't. <laughs> Steven. Steven, I know you want to know what it is. Okay. Um, well, we're now going to drop this guy down in here. So there's a bunch of allergy in this pond. We're having an allergy bloom. That's because it's spring. Um, so it's going to be like that. Once it gets a little warmer outside, that's when uh, that's when we won't have as much as an allergy bloom. This will kind of go away. I gotta put some chemicals in here. I try and not put chemicals in my pond. One of the main reasons other YouTubers don't have like big allergy blooms in their pond is because they put chemicals in there. I try not to as much. You might be able to see him down there. It's so freaking windy, but he's vibing. He's just crawling around. All right, that's all it takes right there. So he should he should be chilling. If he wants to leave, he can he can leave. I have no idea how he got to the front yard pond. He probably just came from like like a local river, lake, stream, pond, something like that. Cause it'll come out of nowhere. Like I have a lot of baby turtles that'll show up in here every once in a while. I still have turtles in here that I put in here like a year ago. Boom, snapping turtle check. <laughs> okay. All right. So. Basically, this is germination. Oh my goodness. It's way different out of it. Way better than a wine glass. It is now time. Oh, that was delicate. It is now time to feed fish. So we got tilapia. We're gonna defrost that. Basically, when we defrost that, we're gonna cut half of it, put it in the fish room over here. Okay. But in here, so we've got quite a few things we can feed the tilapia in here. Our jade goby, that little man right there, freaking sexy. Then we've got every single fish in here eats tilapia. My favorite to watch eat is the water cow goby because he will actually let me play with him. That is my favorite. I love that. Then over here, obviously the goldfish, they don't eat tilapia, but they can be eaten by this tank. So we may put a few of those in here. I'm just kidding. I think it should be done now. So that's all we got to feed in the fish room. What's going on in here? <laughs> right. Okay, we're gonna bring them out like so. Cut that in half. Snip, 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 snip. Why are you laughing? <laughs> okay, so all of the snips are what can be fed. You guys haven't seen the peacock bass eat this yet. Thanks. Oh my God, I didn't even see it. Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> this is where the madness goes down. We'll take a look at this. So this. He knows. <laughs> he definitely knows. So our peacock bass. Watch. He's already coming over here. Oh gone. My gone. God. Didn't take long. Oh, he's gonna get it again. <laughs> See the water cow's mad. Red tail everything over here. Red tail will get a few pieces. Arowana, flower horn. Come on, water cow. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's just not smart. <laughs> oh. oh there it is. Oh the peacock's gonna get that too. Got it. 
Well, I do that every other day because that's a good amount of food for them. So it doesn't need to be done every day. So that's everything that needs tilapia in the house. It's finally warm outside. As you guys can see, I'm in a tank top. Hey, 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 hey. Steven! I don't know if you guys can see the bass, but he'll eat and then he'll go sit down under there. Look at him, there he goes. Bars over there. Dude, come on. Wow. See, I, I put my hand back down there and grab it, but you know, probably not the best idea. <laughs> One thing that eats like crazy is the albino catfish, which is growing, which is fantastic. I love that. And that's a really cool fish because it's a channel catfish, so it's native to the area. So when he's eating, that's always sick. He's just sitting down there. So much allergy. <laughs> hey, it's cracking. Oh my gosh. We had the pond stop running the other day, and I'm guessing it's because the pump got messed up. So, my next thing oh, oh, oh. Steven's on your back. <laughs> Steven, you can't be doing that. One of the problems, too, is, is the ground is starting to fall in right here. I can't get this top back on. Problem. It, it won't go back on. Bro, there's like no way to get this back on. I think I may just, I, I may just put it like that. I gotta fill this back up and get it running again because the ducks need water in here, especially at night because they'll come in here a lot. But everything else is doing pretty good. Last but not least, the goldie fish. I haven't seen any eggs on the breeding, breeding mop we got so far, but we'll put that in there and you guys can see, they'll, they'll come get it. Yeah, they tear it apart. Cool little fish though, I like them quite a bit. I had four of the little ones in here, like four of these tiny guys, but I took one of them out and put them out to the front yard pond. Is he still in there? Eh, well, probably not, because the snapping turtle took him. But now we have three in there. And for everybody wondering, yes, I still have the bunny. He has actually been going to the vet a lot because he had an infection that he got from, I think they said it was probably from the previous owner because it's only an infection spread from bunny to bunny and I don't have any other bunnies obviously. So, but he is, you, know, you see he's vibing. But he has to go to the vet like two more times to get shots. Other than that, super happy. Oh my goodness. Okay, I get it. But how many times can you unplug the pond? Every 30 seconds, he un they unplug the pond. The fish need it plugged in. Every day can be a better day despite the challenge. All you gotta do is leave it better than you found it. I wish I could pull the GoPro out and show the snapping turtle underwater right now. You can barely see his shell. It's just a little bit too dark. He's right there, his head's right there. Cool turtle, I'm interested to see if he stays or not because he can absolutely leave if he wants to. We're gonna find out here shortly though if he wants to stay with us. But we're gonna grab this, we're gonna walk over here because they all think I have food. And we're gonna come right here, unhook this. We gotta be really quiet because they know. All right guys, look, I'm bringing you food. Psych, no, no. Steven, Steven. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh, that's what I thought. As you can see, they're not fans. They do not like to go to bed. But it's getting dark outside and bobcats come out like at night. I literally live in a suburban area. I'm not a country boy, that's not me. I'm a little city boy, but we've got bobcats in the field behind me and they've taken my duck Penelope before. There's coyotes back there. And around this time is actually when they'll kind of hunt and stalk stuff. And I'm not interested in that. That's right, I took the four-wheeler from there to here. But no, this is where we ended up finding that turtle. I'm guessing he probably snacked on some of the goldfish. I can see our big chubby ones down there still too, so we didn't get those, which is good, but I'm not even the one who noticed them. My little sister is, she came out here and she was like, Bubba, there's a turtle in the pond. And sure enough, that was a fairly large turtle. Literally can't do anything right. Like I said, they need some water for tonight. That was anticlimactic. I thought that was gonna be flowing a lot faster than that. Okay, now it's going, but our main goal is for that to start pushing out water. Once that does that, then we're good. We don't have to do much else. We just need to start pushing water. Well, I just spent the past two days cleaning this thing out, cleaning that out, cleaning the pond out, got it running, and it's that dirty. Like, I don't even understand that. Well, guys, hopefully you went on to enjoy today's video. If you saw at the beginning of the video, we were jumping the four-wheeler. Oh. <laughs> Because in that field behind me, we made ramps. Yeah. But no, thanks for Christian for helping me film and uh, and coming with me to help get that freaking snapping turtle in the pond behind me. But if you guys are new to my channel, this is the first time you've ever clicked on one of my videos, click the subscribe button down below. Click the like button while you are at it. The notification bell is there as well to get constant notifications whenever I upload a video. With that being said, I will catch you ladies and gentlemen on the next episode of Fanatic. Peace.